too. Looks like we're going to start the shower this morning. We mark the level line across the shower. It's two tiles up. So below that line, we're going to tack a piece of wood, and then we're going to work from there up. And it'll be easier for me to come back later and uh, trim the pieces at the bottom. All right, first thing we're going to do is uh, tile up this shower niche. And the way we're going to do that is we got one of the shower floors. We're going to use a piece of that back there. That's what the homeowner wants. And we've made a 12 by 12 square thereabouts uh, for the back. Just like if I was shingling a house or whatever, you got to keep in mind uh, how the water's going to work. So we're going to mastic this uh, with the thin set, and then we're going to put with those spacers in there. And then we're going to set that just like that. So you can see it's got a healthy pitch, but we, you know, stand a bottle of water and all up in there and, uh, and, uh, and don't fall out. That's, so that's all we need. Then this next part, this back wall will sit on top of that like so. Then the side pieces and the top go in and, and butt the, the back piece. So we got this one set, in pin set, wedges underneath it like I, sh like I showed you and we're getting ready to put the back in place. Okay, we got our side piece ripped down to the proper width. Oh, and we also have uh, some scrap um, curdy board holding the top piece up. We're gonna set our bevel square in here. You see that nice? And pick up the, the angle that this sill is on. I'm gonna measure this and cut it about an eighth short. That'll give me a teeny bit of top and a teeny bit of bottom. So that's 11 and a quarter exactly. We want this factory, factory at the top. Eleven and a quarter, just sharp. Don't look like much, just a little bit. finished for now um, the whole time we're going through this so we got to come back and put the ditch or trim around this or schluter trim rather um, so we're making sure that our tiles are flush with the outside wall because that's where they're gonna be coming Six 
15. Who broke up Spongy? The best thing, clean this up. <laughs> hey, still no haircut. All right, we got the bottom started yesterday. We're gonna carry on. We're gonna run the curdy, I mean the uh, Schluter trim around this uh, shower niche. And then uh, cut our tile and bring it on up to at least to this point. Um, that's always a bit trying. But I do like the looks of that tile though. That's a 4x12 format, and we got a, like a 3 16th inch grout joint in it. So that's gonna look awesome. Especially with this, if you remember the floor. So that, that on the wall, gonna be a good looking bath. It'll be nice. Heck, I might come over here and shower. All right, let me mix up my mud, sharpen the pencil. All right, friends and family. The um the bead I decided to use around this shower niche is this uh, Schluter. It's a Q100AE. It's uh, aluminum. Easy to cut. I just use my miter box as I normally do. It's got an 80 tooth carbide blade on it. The only trick to that is let that uh, saw, let it wind up to full speed so it's running at full blast before you ease the blade down into the metal. Make sure it's, it's being held down tight. It's not gonna move because you don't want the blade to grab it and try to throw it. So uh, as long as you do that, you're good to go. Just let it get all the way up to speed and then ease it into you trim real slow. And what this is gonna do is gonna allow me to have a, a finished edge, you know, a place to, to end the tile. This is this has got mortar on, mortar on it, so we, I'm gonna flip it around so you can see. But, and then I'll leave a slight grout joint there. And you can see on the inside, it leaves a slight grout joint. And uh, I just got some frog tape holding it in place. You know, while I like mark and cut the pieces, but you can see that's you know, that's a pretty nice look. So, turn them from the side. You yeah. look at that. I mean, that's <laughs> these shower niches are a lot of work. You don't realize it, but maybe you'll spend some time doing them. So let me get some uh, mud mixed up and we'll start putting that thing together. So look, we're up one side. I'm gonna show you how I've been doing this. It's slow, trust me, it's slow. So what we do is I put some frog tape on top of my tile and then I get a mark. So and so, cut it out just like you would anything else on the wet saw. Ceramic is soft enough. Now this this is a uh, eight grit. This paper don't last long with a cutter. There you go, you see it ever so slight, just cleans it up. Again, like I said, I use this frog tape to hold all my stuff together. I'm trying to, cause this is, this is, it's just not fast. It's, it's slow going. There you go. Get an idea, but at least a grout joint. 
a lot of work, but this will be cool looking for sure. No hitches. Not a weekend project for sure, huh? <laughs> See your bathroom, buddy. How about another bathroom? Good morning to you, good morning to you. We're all in our places with sunshiny faces. <laughs> Alright, here we go, Monday morning. Let's see, shower niche looks nice. Everything's set up nice and solid. Got the little brush trim around it. So we're going to finish this, put our trim at the top. Let me mix up some thin set and we'll get started. Such a good towel guy. <laughs> <laughs> sit down in the lawn chair and have a beer while somebody else is doing this. Slow down. Say hi, <laughs> say hi to your YouTube family. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I want one of those in my shower. Yeah. What do you call those? Just a cutout? Yeah. 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 Are you doing the same grout on there too? Oh, it's the same grout through all of it. Floor, shower floor. It's that silver. What about down? Oh, okay. <laughs> See it back there? Mm -hmm. No haircut. <laughs> oh, good morning, everybody. Um, I'm flying solo this morning. Lisa's with her mom. God bless her. And uh, just me and my hair. But I'm gonna get to the barbershop soon. I got towels set though. I ain't got time to be sitting in the barber chair. So we're gonna take a stroll inside and see how things went yesterday, and uh, see what we can do today. So I'll be right back with you. It's a little hint of fall in the air this morning. It feels like. There yesterday evening, we're using this uh, Schluter bull nose. Man, it gives it a real nice finish because these tiles, uh, actually most of them these days, um, 
they don't come with bull nose or any other kind of trim, so you've got to find a way to, um, you know, kill the edges on these or finish the edges. And, and this is a uh, this is a good example of that. Got the threshold set, the seal, whatever you want to call it. Feels good. You can see my uh, little torpedo level has got an ever so slight fall to the inside. Back cutter all of them will always do. That way there's no question about it. It's like this, I have a better time, best time if I start at an angle like this. This is ceramic, not porcelain, that's why this is so easy. There you go, let the bit do the work. safe to say that I will finish this shower today. I've got the ones cut and, and put in place around the shower pan, which is always a pain in the butt. So we're going to start by finishing this up, trimming, uh, put the trim at the top, and then we're going to cut in place the uh, tile at the threshold on the outside. And the inside, you can see it's not done yet. So, we're going to start by mixing up some mortar and then uh, we'll get back to you.
This is where it pays off to put your keep your levels off. You know, because we were very careful to set this curve level. And you see our grout joints and all our pieces are exactly the same across the front. One, two, three eighths. So if you take the time to get it level to start with, it will be easier. No haircut yet. <laughs> Ain't gonna get one. I'm gonna let it go see what happens. Maybe be like um on the duck commander. Maybe we'll start growing a beard. Who knows? Anyway, I am happy. I am finished with the town. And so my job this morning is to clean all this up and grout it. Very happy that that's done. Got the curve on the outside done, which looks nice. The inside. Every piece of tile you set deserves the same amount of attention, whether it's low and in an inconspicuous place, or whether it's right in your face. First time I've ever used this uh, square aluminum trim, and I like it. It's a little bit difficult to get all this up and taped and held in place while it sets, but I like the look. Ain't no big secret to this. Fill the holes. And I'm checking out these grouts, these grout lines, just like a bricklayer would, would uh, you know, break the joints on this wall. And the same thing when you put the grout in the holes, you know, at an angle. And you wipe it. Pay close attention to the corners, you want to get them packed solid. You see how this is? And we'll come at an angle. And you need you need a relatively wet sponge for this. Shoes, you'll probably wash it five or six times. You see this when you're when you're grouting? I'm making a conscious effort to push it in. Push them joints full. Turn the radio on and chill. <laughs> Say hi, Perry. Grandson Perry. Say hi, Perry.
Lisa's cleaned the buckets. We finished our bathroom. And April's here to um, just root us on. <laughs> so here we go. Complete. We are ready for paint and trim. But you can see all these brown toys have been rigged and straightened just like the brick on your house. Yeah. Needs one more wash, but then we'll get that next week. The floor looks beautiful. That's a big deal getting this farm and we're up now. So I'm gonna uh, put around some base in here on Monday, put these walls up and then be ready for paint. Yeah. And then we'll hit the here, help me. Yeah. 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 You be helping, yeah. Papa? Huh? Would you be helping, Bob? What's the play in the bucket of mud water? Anyway, it's Friday evening. My get up and go has got up and went. And Barry, what are we gonna do? We're gonna go get the goodies out. You need to take a nap, buddy. Yeah. Not now. Now he needs to take a nap.